Hello everybody and welcome to Salt and Pepper at home with Attilio. In this uh, segment of uh, fish cookery, I'm going to show a half a lobster. Okay? And uh, this is going to be a West Coast gratinated lobster. Easy ingredients, easy to make. We get round to the ingredients right away. I've got a half a lobster here, which uh, was alive a couple of minutes ago. And as we say, <laughs> you only live once. So she had her stay here. And we go with the rest of the ingredients, my friends. We have some, uh, some chestnuts, which are dry chestnuts. Okay, I don't know if you've seen these ones before. And this ones, you soak them overnight to get them soft and the, the water gets cloudy because all the little skins come out. Make sure you take out all the little skins because they might they become bitter. They might turn your lobster bitter. And then there is some, uh, some uh, peanuts, not roasted, okay? I crushed them also, you know what peanuts look like. There is some uh, Romano cheese, you can use the sardo cheese or you can use any grana or Parmesan cheese for the gratiné. And we have some chopped capers. I would like to show what the capers look like. It's a little unbloomed flower and they've been marinated and uh, you get them in little jars. Uh, thank God they're already done. In some parts of the world where they grow them, they, they sell them fresh for you to marinate them at home, but we don't have to do that here. And we have some uh, raw green onions, which we're going to use raw over the lobster for us, uh, to eat a little bit of the lobster, a little bit of the, the onion at the same time and a uh, little bit of chili, of course, which will grind over the, the lobster, and some melted butter with uh, garlic inside. It's not, totally, it's not totally clarified. I like to leave it this way sometimes. It gives it a nice flavor, and some salt. Now, my friends, procedure. Very, very easy. Very easy. Here, put everything in here. We just drop everything in a little bowl. Everything, except half of the cheese. Except half of the cheese. Go like that. Put half of the cheese inside to bind that together. Then the rest of the cheese we put on top of the lobster. Okay, we we'll put that aside for now. And we go like this. Drop a little bit of uh, the butter inside. A bit of the melted butter with the garlic. See how easy this is? We put, I'm gonna show you in a minute. I'm just gonna put all the ingredients, okay? And I'm gonna show you in a minute. You can, you don't, don't worry about putting too much chilies here. And we don't need too much salt in this one because we have the capers. And the capers are already salty, okay? We have to remember little things like that when we do combinations, okay? Just a little bit of salt. There you go, my friends. And no pepper in this one. As I say, this is going to be gratinated, so the oven is happening at, three, at uh, 375 right here, but you could have it at 350 where you are because uh, your oven maybe is a little bit hotter or colder, doesn't matter. You just kind of work it out with yourself, that one, and mix this all up. Remember, we have all the ingredients plus a little bit of butter, plus a little bit of cheese. And we put a little bit, mix it all together. See, very easy little melange, as they would say. Put a little bit inside the claw. So the claw has a little bit of fun. Try not to drop too much on the pan because it's gonna be wasted. It's gonna be burnt. Because with the oven at 375, put it like that. My friends, this already smells so nice with the garlic and the butter. It's incredible when you melt or clarify a little bit of butter, how good it smells. That's it, all over. Use your hands, don't be afraid, don't be shy. Okay, nice, beautiful. This, if this lobster could only talk, <laughs> not anymore. And guess what we do now? We put it in the oven. We wait for about 10 to 12 minutes, and then we say, voila, and I'll meet you back at the serving table. Bye-bye. Right away. I'll be back. I'll be back. Bye-bye. <laughs> nice. Nice kid. That's a boy lobster. Be right back as soon as it's done. And we're halfway through the cooking here. We're just going to put this baby here. 
It's nothing important that I'm going to do, but it's very important. <laughs> we have still a little bit of butter left. Put it on top. This is going to make the lobster meat so nice and soft. And the rest of the cheese that we have to do the gratiné. A little, bit, a little bit of the cheese is going to burn in the pan. It's OK. We'll get someone to wash it later. A little bit inside here. And we'll get rid of the one that's stuck on top. My friends, put this back. We have six minutes left for cooking time. The cheese is going to get nice and golden. And then we'll serve it anytime now. And here is Monsieur Le Lo Lobster. <laughs> My friends, friends of salt and pepper, this is so good. It's not finished yet. Very, very hot. We put a little bit of, uh, little bit of uh, melted butter over it. You see, it sinks right in. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. If my mom could only see me now. Don't forget the claw. Don't forget, uh, don't forget the claw because uh, there is stuffing in there, too. We put a little more here. We can use all this butter because, I mean, a little bit will fall on the plate. So what? Okay. We have a few onions. So we can just put them here. Okay. Just like that. Put them here. The onions, as, I, as I've been saying, you eat them raw with a chunk of, uh, of lobster. And my friends, this is a delicacy. And as they would say, anywhere, signore e signori, buon appetito with salt and pepper at home with Attilia. Enjoy. <laughs>